Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Simply Unprofessional. I'm your host, Webby. Joining me tonight, we got Devin. Hey, everybody. How's it going? And we got pff, Rob Equus has been hiding on us, but he is here now. And someone forgot my name there for a minute. But yes, I am here. I am Rob. So, all right. So this week, we're going to have kind of a laid back week. We're just going to kind of shoot the shit, talk about a bunch of stuff. I know there's a couple things that I want to ask Devin about, mainly the new Overwatch character. Uh, and I know Rob posted a link to... Um, a potential new Vampire the Masquerade game. At least they're hinting at something. Um, so I will actually pull that up. But Rob, how have you been? Where have you been? It's been a while. I have been at work because I work Thursday nights when you usually record this. Yep. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> A good co-host would just change his entire work schedule around to. I think the people spoke, <laughs> and they wanted me, and he w- and he was running. That's what I think. I was just too ashamed. He's just running. He's, like, with it. he's running. He's, he's been ducking it. I've been issuing <laughs> challenge week after week. I I think that those of us here at Simply Unprofessional should get a salary, and then I can be available at any time you want. You know, I mean, I, 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 won't, with this. I won't disagree with this. <laughs> I also agree with this. <laughs> if, if you guys, if, hey, if people want to start paying mo- me to do this, sure. For a paltry sum, for a paltry sum of two hundred thousand dollars a year, you can have all three of us host SU on the daily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, legit. Yeah, I'd do it. I mean, I'll do a I'll do a Monday through Friday like talk show daily thing. If we yep. like, if we even at even at I'll do it on Twitch. 000, we could stream it live. Even if we had one hundred and fifty thousand, it was just fifty thousand a piece for salary. That's more. That. That's more than I make now. That's, that's pretty yep. sure that's more yep. than I've ever made. So, yep. I'm fine with that. Yeah, sit down and yep. relax, kick up feet, and radio stream. And so what we need to do, great. we really need to like throw the line out there. And really like and hook like a billionaire and get a billionaire to listen to us who really likes the show. Yo, Mark show. Cuban, hit us up. I don't know who that is. <laughs> he owns the Dallas Mavericks. He's on Shark Tank. Oh, all right. We need to be like a morning show on some radio station. <laughs> yeah, fucking morning shows. <laughs> I love um, morning shows. Well, I love some morning shows. I love morning shows. Love so, Devin, did you read this article that Ed Quist put uh, about I the? Um, I saw it. I didn't have a chance to read it. Read it about no. the vamp thing. So I'm gonna read this real quick. Um, so Paradox could be teasing a new Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, now Paradox is ramped up with what people are pretty confident is a teaser campaign for a new Vampire the Masquerade of some fashion. Whether it's going to be a new video game, I fucking hope so, or possibly a new edition um, for the tabletop RPG, which, I mean, they just came recently-ish. Although they just come out with 5e. That's the newest one. That's that's brand new, fucking new. So I don't think they need a new RPG, uh, tabletop RPG. Um... I'd actually like to see a new video game because, like, the last good video game was what Bloodlines. Um, I mean, that's dated for sure. Uh, this all started with Tender, a dating app with a soulmate algorithm, not to be confused with Tinder. Tender was created by publisher Paradox as a first step in what turned out to be an elaborate ARG, leading to what could be a new Vampire the Masquerade game remake or some new project in the world of darkness universe it's hard to miss all the references to blood in the app but things didn't get interesting until a new york event that was live streamed on twitch over the weekend 
Most of the stream consisted of a looping video of security camera feeds at the event, which appears in the escape room. Um, later, the stream displayed a message that read Project Chimera, along with a file ID code. Finally, the show ended with another looping video, this time of a pier, which some say is the Santa Monica Pier from Bloodlines. Um, the last vampire, the, oh, which is the last vampire the last masquerade game. Now, during the stream, we get to see an internal memo between two executives referencing the New York event, calling it a control group. It's all very ominous, and just to add a bit more fuel to the fire, the same message was later tweeted out by the official uh, the official Paradox Twitter account. Uh, let me see if I can actually enlarge this. I'll read the memo. Um... Now, Paradox, of course, became the rights holder to the World of Darkness franchise when it acquired White Wolf in 2015. Um, let's see. This memo says to Joe Preston, CTO, from Malcolm Chandler, CEO, Subject, Regent Dashboard, Control Group, New York. My patience wears thin. When I ask something of a thrall, I expect it done. The future should have been rolled out weeks ago. Quick and pace, Job. I will allow one week of testing in New York. Gather as much data as you can. Because I will personally do whatever it takes to see the dashboard activated for our hunter before March. Think on what you've witnessed in your short time serving me. I invite you to contemplate my methods of, mo of motivation. We must be ready for San Francisco on March 21st. If you think the New York event was big, 300 tender users will be invited to a private party, some of them flown from around the world. Get it done, Job, or I will empty your head of ever-simpering thoughts and fill it with so much fear that you beg permission before pissing yourself. Well, uh, mark that date. This will be the biggest announcement in the history of the company. M. You know what? That That's really no way for a CEO to talk to... Not at all. Very rude. You know, speaking from one CEO to another, very, very <coughs> rude. Very also, very too, rude. Um, just oh, full disclosure, I told Avil he could join because we're just shooting the shit. If you wanted to, yeah, um, no, that's fine. Conversations. Um. So yeah, apparently March twenty first uh, at a, I'm guessing some form of a convention or something in San Francisco. I don't know what conventions are happening around that time, but we should be seeing another, either a. a an announcement of a of a release for the new thing, or probably what my guess is going to be probably just another teaser leading up. They're probably doing a slow build to whatever this is. Either way, I'm looking forward to it because it's been a while since they've had a new Vampire the Masquerade game. I'm really praying that it's a game. So, yes. Me too. March twenty first. Either a game ends. or it's a. What would you call it? Or a really long... Uh, is there any game where it's like a really like high-profile LARP? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, in, in that UK, I'm really hoping it's the game then. And I'm hoping that whatever game it is, if it is a video game, I'm really hoping that it's a multiplayer one this time. Because Bloodlines was fun. I played through Bloodlines several times, but it's not multiplayer. That I was true. I don't think it is. So, oh, that's hot. I'm drinking hot chocolate. And it's hot. Uh, the and other thing that Ed Quist had posted that I wanted to inquire with you, Devin, about was there is a new hero uh, in Overwatch. In Overwatch, they were they were yeah. teasing it for a little bit, but they actually released who he was. He's in the PTR. Yep. There's a lot of changes in the PTR. Which, if you want, we can go over every single change in the PTR. That um, matters. That is, I mean, they pretty much hit almost every single hero in the game. Jesus. So well, I, I'll let you give us some through, highlights. All right, but let's talk about Baptiste first. Baptiste is a new hero. He's uh, he looks. Like I a like support. him a lot. He's a support. He's yeah. a support. He's kind of like a uh, like a support. Best way to describe, it, I would say, if Soldier Seventy Six was more leaning towards support than DPS. It's kind of how he plays. Um, he has his primary fire. He has a gun, 45 rounds, 
and then its secondary fire has 10 rounds. Primary fire um, is a three-round burst that shoots... Its primary fire is a three-round burst that shoots... Um, what is it? It's hit scan three round burst for a, was it fifty? No, forty five damage. Sorry, fifteen damage for a total of forty five damage. There we go. Uh, it's headshot capable, and to top all of that fun stuff off, headshot capable. Top of that fun stuff off. His right click is uh, he can launch healing grenades. Okay, which is dope. Uh, is it kind of like they, Anna's? They can't grenade? hurt people, and he he can't hurt people, and he can't heal himself with it. Okay. So he can shoot people at him. He has 10 of them, though. He, I, and I think they heal for 75, 50 or 75. I think is that 50 or 75. They heal, they heal for, I think, the value of, of a small health pack. Uh, it's 50 or 75. I can't remember the top of my head. But so he shoots for that. That's one right there. So also great shit. He has two, his two abilities. Uh, well, his passive ability is he can hold down... Um, his passive ability is he, he holds down uh, fucking control. And when he holds down control, he can charge basically charge his jump and get high ground and leap. I, he goes pretty high. Uh, I think from... To give you an idea, well, you remember that King's Row? Uh, yes. That ledge that's right outside the window? Yes. Yeah, he can jump from there to there. Oh, all right. Outside the window after you cap first point, not the first point window. If that makes sense, right? Remember how? Remember what? Yeah, well, yeah. Like, so he can get pretty high up there. He, I think he can actually make it to the window actually up from King's Row on, from the ground. But so he also has like a a burst heal where he can then shoot. Uh, he, I think this is shift ability. His shift ability is a healing feel, kind of like a Lucio, except it. It bursts out one time, and then if you're in the field, you get the heal, and then if you're not in the field, you don't get the heal. Now, does that one heal him? Yes, that heals him. Okay. And everything else, it's a it's a heal over time effect, and I want to say that heals for 175 over time. I think it's 175 over three seconds. Okay. Or 150 over three seconds, or something. It's something like that. Um, heals over time. So, and the cool thing about it is, obviously, for like a tracer or a Genji, if you're in the if you're there and you you get it, you can dash away before your full health, and you'll still be getting healed, which is good. So that works. Then <laughs> the very controversial second ability. Now, Webby, what would you think a second ability would be for a support character? Like, if you were gonna name an ability, well, what do you think it'd be? Um. Well, let's see. You've already covered damage. You've already covered two different types of heals and a mobility um maybe like a cc of some fashion uh, it's... yeah rob do you know what it is uh -huh. <laughs> it is i like how you guys a... laugh at me like <laughs> well I mean... it cc's everything basically <laughs> to a degree it's a immortality field yep Can't uh, die what inside of it I'm sorry. It's an immortality field. Does it move? No. You okay. throw it, it's kind of like a may ult. You throw it out. Anybody in that orb that's in there can't drop below 20% of their life. Enemies too? No. Okay. Only your allies. Just your allies. The little thing floating above, they can, can be destroyed. That has 600 health. That has 600 health. Okay. So, they can destroy that. Now, it will save you from a diva bomb. The diva bomb will kill the orb thing that flies above you. But it'll save but you. It'll save your team. You'll all be at 20% life, but it'll save your team. Okay. So, that. So that's one of those things where, like, if the whole enemy team starts to, like, use alt after alt, and you have a Reinhardt, the or Reinhardt like shields, and you just toss this thing behind Reinhardt. <laughs> yep, or like a Zarya grab. Yeah. You throw, it a, you throw it in the grab and floats above it, and then you just launch, you just launch grenades straight up in the air. Because your grenades take seven seconds to fall back down. Jeez. So you literally just Zarya Graph, or if Zarya Graphs, you just literally would just do that and stand in the air and then proceed to basically have grenades rain down upon you. Well, shoot at the ground and shoot them up in the air and have them just rain down upon you while you survive. And then his ult is he drops like a kind of like a, I don't know what to call it, like a phase wall kind of thing. And any healing or damage that gets shot through this wall gets a 50% damage buff. 
Okay. okay. So this is something you want to place down in front of yourself and then in front start of yourself and or then your start... team. Like if you have like a soldier who's, who's about to ult. Right. That's where it would be really now how, good there. Now, how big is the? Okay, I have two questions. It's how big is the Reinhardt all? shield? It's smaller than a Reinhardt shield. Okay, it's not very big. Is but it like bigger but, than like a, a Brigitte shield? It's bigger than a Brigitte shield. It's like one and a half Ariza shields. Okay, so I mean that's still significant. Oh yeah, you you can get two or three of you behind it. Um, but the advantage of it is obviously. You would want it for yourself if you want to heal your team. You drop it like your team's taking a fuck ton of damage. You drop it in front of you and just launch your grenades through it, and then your your healing is fifty percent more effective. Okay. Now my other question was um, the immortality field thing. Uh huh. How big of an area is that? That's uh, that's about as big as a male. Oh. It's it's significant. God damn! All it, right, it, it's significant. It's a significant range. How big of an AOE is his little shift? Uh, his, his uh, little that's about. I think it's the biggest Lucio's burst. Right, right. That's it's still big. Bit, it's a, it is. It is. He puts out all. He he is about burst. He puts out a lot of healing. A uh, lot of healing. Um, he's definitely a character who puts out a lot of healing. Uh, he's fun. From what I've played him, he's super fun to play. How long until you think he gets nerfed? Uh, the thing is this, I don't know. Um, I've Hopefully, with the way these patches are going, uh, Overwatch, they're looking at nerfing differently, because what they've been doing with... he, I think he's going to get the Ana treatment, where he's going to come out, and people aren't going to use him as much. Because the problem is, right now, he doesn't kill goats, which everybody hates goats. He doesn't kill goats, so the problem with him not killing goats, officially, is... Since he doesn't kill goats, he gets, um, it's what support do you swap out in a goats comp for him is the, is, is the question. Now, okay, Devin, I want you, you being the, the resident Overwatch guy. Okay. Um, remind the listeners, A, what goats is, and then B, what a good healer for, to counter goats would be. Uh, in a normal there's, situation, I guess, or really or currently, one. I guess. There's really not one. Like the, the only no. real counter to goats is goats, or like playing. There is there is kind of a counter goats, but it's basically just a super strong bunker with a sombra. Like, <laughs> all right. So then, but, remind the listeners what goats is. Goats is effectively uh, it's a three three comp, three tanks, three support. Uh, usually those supports are going to be. You're going to be running Lucio, Zenyatta, Brig. Those are the three those are the three casual ones like that's the most common configuration for goats. You're you can run um like Moira goats. You can run Mercy goats, but they're not nearly as effective. The most effective comp for goats hands down is Zenyatta, Lucio, Brig. Uh Lucio is there specifically just for the speed really right um and then you just literally take reinhardt zarya diva or reinhardt zarya roadhog and just basically face rush them and smash the team's face in that's it. <sighs> it it's literally just a bully comp you just bully them on the point and you bully the shit out i mean i don't know point. based off of this i mean th- this guy doesn't seem like he'd be bad against he's the, not the bad goat. but the problem is you need lucio and goats for speed because speed counters goats hard because like you're all tanks so Speed counters goats real hard, okay? So, like, if you have a team that is a Lucio, like, if you're going two goats, one team has Lucio, one team has Baptiste. While Baptiste is really nice in the fact he'll keep people alive, that speed is going to change the game because Lucio will be able to basically be the judge of when the fights start and when the fights end. Okay. Because he can get his team in the fight, and he he can pull his team if need be. Right. So... It, then that's kind of how that goes. And then the problem with Baptiste is he, he he's just pure HP hero. So, like, he, he'll he get Brig stunned real quick and then get smashed in. So, you kind of got to balance that out. Right. But generally, if I had to say, he, he actually kind of enables goats in a weird way. But the only person I'd see you swap out is Zenyatta. But, like, that's if you really just want to, like, say, fuck you, I want to live. Yeah, 
that's the only real comp I can see that working with is like if you're just like fuck you, I want to live. Um, and you pick him over Zenyatta. That's literally it. And in that case, he would run kind of the same, uh, the same idea of like an Mercy Goats, where you swap out Zenyatta for Mercy. Yeah, just for the extra healing. Extra healing in the in the res. That's yeah. literally it. So, what other changes have they made in the PTR that the, the, we're most likely going to be looking forward to moving on? All right, boom. Let me see if I can get there and show you what I'm talking about real quick. All right. So first things first. Uh, armor. Uh, armor. They changed armor again. Beam type damage is now reduced by 20% when hitting armor. That's like a Zarya. That's a Zarya nerf, unfortunately. Um, because currently that doesn't do that, right? Yeah. Currently, beam weaponry didn't wasn't reduced by armor. Oh, so much uh, for Symmetra too, huh? Yeah. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, is that going to count for the Symmetra turrets too? The little fucking yes, oh, probably, thank yeah. Christ! I mean, that doesn't matter because you're still going to have Symmetra turrets. Still have that dumbass yeah, problem slow. of they freeze you in place. Yeah, if you get too many of them. That's my only problem with Symmetra turrets is they just freeze you in place, and they're dan- they're damn near fucking silent, which bothers the shit out of me. So next, next up would be. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, and uh, damage over time effects are no longer mit, but damage over time effects are no longer mitigated by armor. So Ash, her her like, bomb, Ash or Anna, yeah, their their armor against like Anna's gun. So Anna's actually stronger against armored opponents now. Yep. Any type of uh, any type of ticking damage over time ability, it it treats the armor as regular HP. Nice. All right. So there's that. So armor got a buff and a nerf in the same patch, which is interesting. Uh, damage boost. Mercy's damage boost now apply. I think actually, this is all damage boost. So not just Mercy's, but any type of damage boosting thing now applies to when the projectile is fired rather than when it hits the target. Okay. Because before you could do um, like one of the common things with uh, what's 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 that bitch's name? Farah and Mercy would be she would heal her all the way through right in, right until right before the rocket actually hit and then swap the swap the damage real quick for the damage buff. Okay. And then go right back to healing. That was kind of the MO for it. Yeah. Right. But now they can't do that. Um now they have to she has to be undamaged when she shoots the rocket, otherwise it's not going to be a thing. So there's that. Uh, knockback. Knockback distance is now more consistent, which is fine with me because it's always been kind of weird. And heroes that are flying can now be knocked back and slowed. So flying no longer gives you uh, slowed or flying like knockback immunity. Okay. Like you could knock back Farah, but it, she really wouldn't go anywhere. Right. Now she actually, you actually will see her get knocked back if she has knock. If you can knock her back, she will get knocked back. That'll be good which for those cool. junk rat bombs that I throw up in her face. Yes. Exactly. For when our Soldier 76 ain't doing his job. Yeah. I mean, Soldier's not, not even really a great... Soldier was a good counter for Pharaoh back in the day when people couldn't aim and the game first came out, but he's not really a good counter for it. Like, you're better off with, like, an Ash now. <laughs> Ash just basically eradicated him. Like, because Widow hard counters Pharaoh. Like, Soldier's a soft counter for her, but Widow hard counters Pharaoh, right? Um, But the thing is... <clears throat> Ash is I I my opinion I think Ash is even more suited for it than Widow cuz why she doesn't she has better uh escape mechanics cuz Widow has good escape mechanics but they're they're very very predictable mm-hmm. unlike Ash's Ash can kind of like Ash, she can jump up and like shoot her shotgun straight up and put her down on the ground she can shoot wherever her you know if you figure out where the zip line's going you know exactly where she's going right it's kind of that um so with that, there you uh, go. but yeah, did you talk Next about his? Up. Did you talk about his um, Batiste's um, damage boosting shield thing? Batiste, what? His his shield thing that well, not, it's, not, it's not really a shield, but it's like a screen that if you shoot through it, it, da- it yeah, boosts it's all, your damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Yep. I didn't remember hearing that, but that's it. So, uh, also, too, they added in uh, sound. So, if you hit somebody with a damage boosted attack, uh, when you, damage boosted, mm-hmm. they added in two sounds. They added in, in a sound where if you hit somebody with a damage boosted attack, it's a diff- it sounds differently than it does in a regular hit. And if you're hit and it doesn't do any damage, it's a different sound. So, there's the general game changes for that. But hero changes, which get more crazy. As soon as I can pull the thing back up, because I closed it by accident. There we go. All right. So starting with Ana. Ana nerves. Yay. <laughs> Ana nerves. All right. And I'm, it was a very sarcastic yay. I don't want Ana to be nerfed. Uh, Ana nerves. So, Ana, her heel's been... When she nano boosts her heal, she used to do an instant heal for 300. Now it does a heal for 250. So that was decreased by 50. Right? Okay. So there's that. I mean, it's sucks, but it's good. So that. Doomfist. His rising uppercut cooldown was reduced from 7 seconds to 6 seconds. Seismic Slam was reduced from 7 seconds to 6 seconds because... Doomfist kind of got nerfed into oblivion with them when they killed his stuns, so they needed to lower those cooldowns. So there you go, one second shorter cooldown. Man, to each fuck Doomfist. Doomfist. Not a big change. Hanzo got some buffs in a small way. Uh, Sonic Arrow, his detection radius is now nine meters instead of seven meters. Okay. I know Avalos is shaking in his boots over there. Uh, <laughs> Hanzo got a buff. <laughs> Lucio, uh, Sonic Amplifier. Soundwave now counts towards offensive assist. So there you go. There you go. All right. Because so Lucio Soundwave, it wouldn't count towards getting offensive assist if that was the only thing that you did to damage somebody. So there you go. Now his right click does that. McCree. This one is the craziest one. So McCree's fan the hammer. They reduced the damage from fifty-five to fifty. Makes sense. So now he doesn't. Now he can't one clap a tank as well, one combo a tank as easily. Right. Because before it was literally just fan the hammer, fan the hammer, stun roll, fan the hammer, dead. A- any tank in the game, dead. Um. Now, not not as necessarily. He can still do a lot of damage because you're still looking at that, but if they have armor, it's going to reduce it. So there's that. This one's crazy. Damage dead eye. His alt dead eye. Damage per second increased from 275 to 555 after locking on the targets for 2.5 seconds. So, wait. <laughs> so what that means is, if you're in his, if you're, in, if you're, if he ults, right? If he manages to get past the, it's hot. Yeah, if he has the ult up and he's holding an ult there and it's there in the screen. Ah. But now two and a half seconds. If he's pretty much if he sniffs you on the screen, you're instantly dead because it'll just immediately ramp up to 575 but or 550 see, damage. Now, Levy, you can combine his alt with Batiste's in, the invulnerability shield. Well, so I, that's he can't be that's, killed. Yeah, I mean that's there's that, but I mean. That ult is still easily counterable, but his ult's gonna fuck up a Reinhardt shield. Cause he can lock onto people and they're behind the shield. He still shoots all those shots. So his ult Now so how long how every, long does his ult take to bullet, ramp up to the point where he's zoomed into the word skulls? Once it's at, once it's at two and a half his, I think the ult I think Dead Eye last how long does Dead Eye last for? Dead Eye last for I wanna say not Dead Eye. Yeah, Dead Eye. I was right. Dead Eye. McCree. McCree. Dead Eye McCree. All right. Bam. Let me look and see. Dead Eye lasts for up to 6.2 seconds. Jesus. So effectively, after 2.5 seconds, the damage is st- and the damage is stacking on. Because this is the thing about that damage. The damage doesn't stop at 200 HP. Most people think like that damage stops at 200 HP. It just keeps stacking. But it just turns into a skull on, on the character. So you know that they're going to die, right? Right. But the damage keeps st- stacking behind the scenes. So if you hide behind a Reinhardt shield, 
and you McCree alt into the team, you're going to obliterate Reinhardt Shield. So most DPS, if they're caught in this McCree alt, even if even if on the McCree screen his if if two and a half seconds have gone by, and even if he ha- isn't seeing skulls, that alt will pretty much kill any DPS class. Well, pretty much he he, he will see skulls at that point. If it reaches two point five seconds, literally every second, it'll just keep it'll add on five hundred and fifty damage. So even if you off the if you pop on his screen, if you if he never locked onto you at all during that first two and a half seconds, right? So so this is essentially just screen, quickening the pace. Of is ramping alt? it up. Is giving it significant ramp. Jesus. But Christ. the scary part of it is, hands down, is and I want to test this out, but I need a bunch of people to test it out on. The scariest part of it is, if I'm not mistaken, Reinhardt Barrier will not protect you from the shield anymore, from the ult. Well, the last two people. Because at 550 damage, if that damage keeps ramping up after two and a half seconds, that's almost 2,000 damage per person if it goes the, if you shoot it right before the ending of the six seconds, right? So what that tells me is in each bullet, they don't shoot at the same time. They each register shortly after, I think. After each other. I think there's, a, there's like a small frame in which they, they delay, I think. Again, this is something I want to test out. But if you're behind a Reinhardt shield, that much damage, the first two shots should shatter Reinhardt shield. The rest of it should go through. Theoretically. Hmm. Um, again, something I want to test out. But if you let McCree just stand there, I mean, obviously, it's high, it still applies um, for the most part. However, I think... If, yeah, you just yeah, have I far less play. time to be able to, to, to neutralize them now, right? I can tell you this right now. At Two and a half level, seconds, that's pretty, that's pretty quick still. At, at, at higher levels, you'd be surprised because at higher levels, the average time to kill at higher levels. So, random statistic: uh, at GM and above, the average time to kill is I want to say less than a second. So what that means is, if somebody starts shooting at you in GM and above, and you do nothing about it, you will be dead in less than a second. Um, it may be a little bit over that, but if I'm not mistaken, it's like around like the one second mark. Like you have, you have almost no time. You just have to react, uh, at that point. And that's why positioning is so important at those levels, because literally if you're out of position, you're one step behind you, you you're just gone. You're just deleted out of the game. Even right. at like diamond masters, I think it's like 1.2 seconds. It, yep. It's still pretty crazy. We're like, you'll be surprised in bronze. The average time to kill is like five seconds or six seconds. <laughs> it's, it's a significant amount of time. Comp- like we, when, when you really think of how long six seconds, like one, two, three, four, five, six. See in that like, time, I, I, in that time as junk rat, I would have gotten a team kill already. I would just fucking exactly. wreck their entire team. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying like, if you're, if you're counting down like that, like if you're actually counting down seconds in your head, and you know, you it, it sounds really crazy. Like, oh my god, like three seconds until he kills me. That's crazy. I have no time to react. If you count that down and how fast-paced games are played currently, it really isn't that preposterous. And you're like, well, damn, that's a really long time. Actually, you, you know, I made that junk rat comment right now, and my heart sank a little bit because I think I felt Avalos's judgment upon me. Like I just felt the eye roll. Uh, <laughs> uh, snappy. He's, he's a snappy dude. Um, May May got some buffs. No, oh, May doesn't need any buffs. Yes, she does. No, she, she got doesn't. a buff and a nerf. She got a buff and a nerf. So her buff is it's actually not that big of a deal, but um her primary fire, it is noticeable, but I will say this. Her primary fire got the damage of it, like so like the beam. Yeah. The damage got increased from 2.25 to 2.75 per tick. All right. Which is a total of 10 extra DPS per second. Because the before it did 45 DPS per second, now it does 55. All right. It is noticeable though. I will say this: if you like, if you freeze, if you freeze a 200 HP target, they are at about half health. Okay. So it is substantially more uh, noticeable. 
Her ice wall health got reduced from 500 to 400. Moira. She got some buffs. Her biotic grasp. Heal over time. Duration increased from 3 seconds to 4 seconds. And her total healing increased from 50 to 65. All right. So now maybe people will actually use her as a healer. Hopefully. They won't. But hopefully. Uh, what about Junkrat? Yes. No one cares about uh, Arisa. I, I care about I love Fucking Arisa. F- Most mobile Arisa. tank in the game. She she actually kind of is ish now. Kind of uh. Not really, but I mean, she's more mobile now. Um, her fusion driver. Movement speed penalty while firing reduced from 50% to 30%. So she can move 20% faster now when she's shooting. Well, damn. Which is actually is going to help her out. Um, so oh. they've they've heard us, Devin. They've heard they've us heard commenting, is, and now they decided to make her more mobile. Yeah. Yes. Farah. Rocket launcher. Minimum explosion damage increased from 1625 to 20. Not a big buff, especially at higher levels, and you know how to like aim with Farah, but it's a buff. Yeah, fair. Whatever. Yeah. Let's let's go to Junkrat. Uh, I don't, I don't think Junkrat like we don't need to cover all of these because that's going to take we're a while. All, we're almost done. We're almost done. Soldier seventy six really? plus rifle damage increased from nineteen to twenty. Sprint. This one's big. This one's big. Oh, they slow them down. Sprint delayed. Uh, the delay before you can fire your weapon after you use sprint was reduced from point five seconds to point three seconds. Doesn't seem huge when you use it. So noticeable. Yeah. Like, I was running around in the PTR with it, and it almost felt like I could immediately fire my gun after I stopped sprinting. Yeah. As opposed to, like, that like that frame or two where you're, like, you're clicking the button, and, you're, and like, he's still pulling the gun up to shoot, right. and you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Totally different. It feels different. And it's so now, you can, now now you can get into a position faster and be able to actually do your job. Or, like, if you run around a corner... And somebody's there to shooting at you. You're not taking like a half a second of bullshit in your right. face before you can even respond. Right. Um, tactical visor. His tactical visor can now target rip tires and the immortality field. Well, shit. So tack visoring a, a junk rat tire is actually a viable option now. Um, Sombra's hack. Only if he can cooldown. see it coming. True. That's all, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Sombra. Her hack cooldown is reduced by half when hacking a health pack. All right, so she can hack health packs faster. Yes, or okay. her cooldown. She can hack. She gets her cooldown back faster when she hacks a health pack. Okay. So she can like hack a health pack, throw on throw down her thing, invisible, and then get into the fight and have her hack for the fight. All right. Um, and then Torbjorn base health of Torbjorn increased by fifty armor. So he has 250 maximum health, and so I think now his HP is 150 life and 50 armor, or it's or 100 armor. Is that or is it reversed? Either 150 armor, 100 life, or 100 life armor and 150 life. One of the two. But anyway, it's increased by 50. But they reduce the overload armor you gain from 150 to 100. Hmm. All right. So there you go. So they're just essentially taking that off from overload and just giving it to you. Overload and putting it into his in base general. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes. Widowmaker. Her infrasight. Um. Her infrasight reveals enemy health bars. And is now canceled on her death. That's handy. So her, her, it is. So her alt. If she alt and dies, it's canceled. But it also reveals health. Uh, health bars. That's handy. It is. I like it. All right, so those are the pretty much the uh, updates for the characters. Uh, there's the last one for Wrecking Ball. Oh, Hamster Boy. That's actually really nice. The Adaptive Shield no longer cancels roll mode. Oh, so you can just roll through a bunch of people and shield as you're you can rolling? roll and shield, yeah, exactly. So now you can roll and shield, or you can, as you're swinging in, you can shield as you're swinging in. They see me rolling. In. I'm still gonna die. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> and then so that's everybody. So pretty much that touched on everybody. Except for like maybe like I think like eight heroes. Man, no junk rat love. Shit. Junkrat's in a good place. Yeah, I like where he's at. I Spam bombs don't die. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Those are those changes. All right. Uh, they added a new map. They added Paris, which I'm still yet to play on. Me too. I played it because I didn't have the PTR installed when it was uh, time. So, yeah. That's actually active now, though. So, you guys yeah, can go and see the Eiffel Tower in the background. Um, <laughs> Rob, I know Rob the other day, he was doing his update <laughs> for for Overwatch, and he was just staring at this fucking pigeon eating a croissant <laughs> forever. Over and over and over. <laughs> for like half an hour. <laughs> Made me laugh. That's funny. Um, Devin's kind of along the same lines as Overwatch. <laughs> me and you decided to dip our toes into a game on Steam, and we found it oddly enjoyable. I think we both had a pretty fun time playing it. Um, Paladins. Yeah. It was. It was. A, it was an experience. Uh, it took me a yeah, minute. To, it, it took me a minute to figure out what was what. But uh, yeah, no, it was. Uh, it was fun going. It was fun going in there. As long as you're not playing up against Co- Koreans, because I mean, Koreans—that's all they do. Their life is video games. They will just Thank annihilate you. you. It does not matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, being an Overwatch player, going in and playing Paladins, it's just like it's literally like you're a giant walking through a daycare. It's just like, well, that, wow. like, we, we haven't played like Paladins like full ranked, so I don't want to. I mean, true. Want to shit on those Paladin players? That Fair. Are, I mean, I don't want to get a bunch of angry paladin emails from like the ten people that play paladin. I don't give a fuck games. if people email. You know what? I welcome those ten angry paladin emails. <laughs> um, I will say that, <laughs> uh, oddly enough, I really enjoyed playing Ash as a defense character, like a frontliner, because in that game you have frontliner, flanker, damage, and support, essentially. And I was playing Ash, and she's kind of like a Zarya, but also a junk rat. I don't know; it's hard to describe. Um, she was whooping ass. I, I was doing really well with her, and then I decided to dip my toe into the the waters of the other characters. And Devin, I think, found so much more enjoyment out of this than than I did because it's a first person shooter, so you don't really get to see your character. Uh, especially in game, but I was playing a character named Ruckus, who is this little goblin guy who drives this big giant mech. And Devin was like, "No, no, no, Webby, you gotta shoot your gun again." I was like, "Okay." So I just started shooting, and he has like these Gatling guns, kind of like Diva. He's kind of like a Diva character. Um, and Devin's like, "Dude, your guy is so adorable. He has this big shit-eating grin on his face when he's firing his gun." And then he sent me a picture of it. <laughs> so I think Ruckus is one of my new favorite characters now just because of that. He is adorable. Um I know Devin, you really like Grok, right? That was the orc guy, the orc healer. Grok is my three heroes I like the most is Grok. I like um I can't think of what I'm Leanne. Leanne and then the basically the Native American Hanzo. Shaolin. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And I think the ones that I played the most were probably Ash, Ruckus, and uh, I bought Tira, which is kind of like, she's kind of like a Soldier 76, but like a Viking one, which was cool. But I think I really, I really dug Grover, which is the Groot, the giant tree support guy, because he's kind of like a Lucio, but he throws axes. The axes are pretty rugged. So, because, like, you can, like, sidearm one where they'll go sideways, and then if you hit the person, it slows them down, and then you can overhand throw them to just do more damage. So. And then I know, what was it? I think his name was Koga. I was like, that just looks like... uh, Kakashi from Naruto if he was just fed up with all the kids shit. <laughs> if he was just like, oh, you three brats, I'm done with you. <laughs> Pulls out a fucking Uzi and grows Wolverine claws. 
So yeah, I mean that's Pal. I mean Paladins essentially is it's essentially another Overwatch type game. Um, there are ones. Me and Devin, I think we did two different types of games. There were ones where we had to go and capture a point, and when the point was captured, it was spawned like a mine cart that we had to escort to the enemy zone. And then if we did that, we'd get a point. But the other one that I really enjoyed that we played, Devin, was it's essentially you're just dropped into this fucking field, and it's a free-for-all, and it's the first of 400 points wins, and you get points for killing the enemy team. So, yeah, I think that was probably my favorite play like mode, I guess. If you're asking, I don't have much else to say about that. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. I mean, it's fun game. Well, it's so fun. Let's, let's talk about Monday night where everyone was like, hey, Rob, hey, Donnie, let's play Smite. And I said, okay, I'll start to download Smite. And then it was about an hour into downloading that, and they're like, no, nah, let's play Neverwinter instead. So then I switched to start downloading hey, hey, Neverwinter. You know what? And then you they said, you want, hey, Rob. No, no, let's play Rob. Paladins. Did we or did we not play Smite? I did not we, play Smite. You got off. I lost power. <laughs> we started playing Smite at like midnight. <laughs> but yes, it was not midnight. It was like it was like eleven thirty. Don't even start. <laughs> oh, like there's a big difference. <laughs> it's a school it was, night, it Devin. Like eleven. It might even like eleven o'clock because I think <laughs> me and Avalos got off at like twelve. Avalos, back me up here. <laughs> Oh, you want me to talk? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> we started at like 11 because we got off at 12.30. There we go. See, there we go. Big difference. Big difference. All the different things. So, Edquist, you did end up playing Smite. I did, yes. How did... What were your thoughts on Smite? Uh, it's, it's okay. All right, so that means Edquist didn't like it. No, I liked it okay. I'm it's currently, it's like currently it, uninstalled like on his computer. Yeah, Ganesha is useless. Don't be Ganesh. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Okay. <clears throat> but I mean, but, uh, that's 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 kind of what you thought about Overwatch at first too, because you didn't you you kept saying you weren't good at Overwatch and you didn't you was all right, and now and now you really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's all about finding that character that hits your sweet spot, man. That you're really good with. Like I'm really good with Poseidon. I love being Poseidon in that game. Some of the cracking all the time. It's my homie. Yeah, that's that's who I ended up being a lot was Poseidon. Well, actually. great. Now I gotta choose a new character because Zedquist is gonna steal Poseidon from me. <laughs> nah. Great. That's funny. I was okay with Aphrodite too. Edquist, yeah, you, you should go download uh, League of Legends. <sighs> I mean, no, I, I, I I actually have to talk to people in League of Legends. No, you don't. So it's not, no, you don't. I thought no, you, you don't. did. No. Nope. No. And especially if we have five people, you really don't have to worry about it. Why yeah. is everyone like everyone's so toxic? Just turn them off. God damn it! Oh, Why is no you don't one have to talk oh, just to don't. Yeah, just don't pay attention to, to them. Be toxic. You don't have to, it's like Overwatch. Don't listen to them. Yeah, uh, I I also agree that you should get League of Legends just because that would be more people that I can play with as well. I mean, I'm playing it right now. Well, you know, there's Devin playing games while we're talking again. Although <laughs> well, this week, much. this week you've been yeah. doing really good, so I appreciate yeah, it. No. There, oh, honestly, yeah. so I, I play games a lot of weeks for you, SUs. Yeah, it's I know. It, it is it is more noticeable some weeks than others. Well, it depends on the game I'm Kurt, playing. Kurt, back like, me I, up. <laughs> it will no, a, lot, a lot of games. It depends on the game I'm playing. Like, if I'm playing, uh, like, Game Dev Tycoon or something, which I play a lot, it it doesn't really require my attention. It really doesn't matter. I hope you took a hook shot. Who, the hooker Can shot? Get. He's the playing shot. Camille. Oh. She's a... Gotcha. I like playing Annie in that game. Uh, I suppose you like playing the bear. That's the thing. She's Mr. Tibbers. <laughs> no, the actual bear. What is his uh, name? Volley Bear. Yeah. I don't know if he was around when I played. I'm like an old school lull player. I'm sure they've released a shit ton of heroes that I don't even know about. Yeah. I'm just trying out new people. Uh, yeah, I'm watch sure out for Emma. She has a beat up. I played Annie a lot, Cho'Gath, and Jax. Of course my, you would, Cho'Gath. My... Hey, I love getting fat and sassy by eating other people. My, my favorite so far is Camille. Uh, she's a jungler. 
Oh, Not jungling. Uh, what's her name? I was never good at jungling. Not Camille. Um, Caitlin. Fucking uh, uh, Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah. Caitlin's my oh, favorite. I like Miss Fortune too. She was good. That's who we're Miss fighting Fort- right now. Miss Fortune fucks fucked me up numerous times. Yeah, Miss okay. Fortune's good. Um. So yeah, Edquist. That's another game you should get. You should also get Paladins. Paladins is free to play. You use that on a wall. You can launch onto a wall and then jump on somebody to stun them. Oh, okay, on the wall. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's I downloaded got Paladins already. That was one of the. Oh, all right. Infinite games I was downloading on Monday. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's. Jump on him. You can jump on him and then it'll stun him. Got you. That's what she does. That's why she's a jungler because she's good. At, she has that long range, long range engage. Now, is that essentially what makes? Yeah. Okay, Avalos, maybe you can educate me here. Like, Probably. What is? I guess the point. I, I, that's kind of a harsh way to put it. But <clears throat> what is the main role for a jungler? A jungler's main role is to help support. Get this. Um, I'm gonna die. Um, so the main role of a jungler is to help his team by progressing. So normally, um, you would have, <clears throat> um, uh, traditionally it's one person top, and then you know one person middle, two persons bottom. They're supposed to help support the lanes by either initiating a gank when the other person's overextended, helping them make plays, and attacking the creeps in the jungle right it's essentially you're there to support your team but you can snowball really easily because you're also solo killing creatures right <laughs> yeah i was uh, i mean it might have been because of who i always was but i, I like anytime i was warwick i tried to be a junk like i'm just not good at jungling i guess if i jungle i play ye i play ye all the time if i have a jungle you played like how many games <laughs> jump on her here yeah. I've jungled a few times. I'm just saying. I've Have been you? forced okay, to jungle a few times. I don't like it, but I do it. So, yeah. Avalos, how are you doing tonight, sir? I'm fine. How are you? I'm yeah. still getting over this deathly flu. This is horrible. Yeah, I had that too. It's no bueno. Yeah, my uvula is swollen today, so that's always fun. It's uvula. It's uvula. Look at him using words. Big words. No, I'm kidding. <sighs> I mean, it is a big word, but he's like, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, my medulla oblongata is swollen too. All right, that's also that's a big word. Brain, right? Listen, it's in your brain, though. Uh, uh, it's probably a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a tumor. <laughs> um, that's not good. Yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much all I got to talk about. Yep. <laughs> Anybody else have anything that they'd like to discuss or talk about? Uh, did you did you see this do attend thing? What? <laughs> There's like a new meme going around where everyone's like writing do attend, and it comes from this letter that a bunch of people, I think it was Chicago, got about Chicago. coming coming to this place and mixing your body with steel to live forever. <laughs> At the bottom, it just says do attend. So now everyone's like. Putting things like they put Colossus with do attend on the bottom. I'll see if I can find it for you really quick. It's hilarious. I don't I don't understand any of these things. Yeah, it's weird. But I thought it was funny. Fucking fear. Avalos hates fear. No, it's um it's Warwick. Oh. Warwick's fear. That is how I don't matter. Yeah, I can't. He's gonna blood hunt me. You know, with Camille, if you like, if you hit her Q, <laughs> English. If you hit her Q, it'll re, it'll go through a charging cycle, and then the next one will do more damage if you let it complete. Got you. Yeah, I can't find anything on this do attend thing. Here, I'm about to put it in the Discord. Well, I will not attend Discord then. How's That's that? That's fine. I don't know. And don't. I don't know what it's about. It's Philadelphia, not Chicago, by the way. 
Oh, oh I, so I should actually know about this, maybe? Yeah. You can actually attend! A cre- uh, no. <laughs> creepy good, letter to Philly neighborhood sets the internet ablaze. Um... What is all this? This is to inform you that all the food ate since first grade is alive in your body. <laughs> Especially the dead animal remains or meat, since it was cooked alive and is alive in your body. <laughs> Anywhere it goes now, you must go with it. That's 365 days a year from first grade to now. Also, a newborn baby received your first grade body. Or a meal just like the 365 days a year? What is this? I don't it's the know. crazy letter that this is based on. Just keep reading. The only way is I see... Recording? Yes. The only way I see you save yourself from the every which a way of being burned alive? That scheduled is to become a solid steel statue by place yourself under anesthesia. And mixing your body with melted metal, then re-solidifying the metal, or seal yourself in cement. When it becomes real to you, you can type it up and have a lot of copies made, then pass them out and post them up. What? I can't do it. What is needed is a steel furnace, or metal can be melted and the bodies of people and animals mixed with the metal to become steel unable to be hurt of course you'll be sedated first though this should be good I can't Rob (laughs) there will be the letter B (laughs) this is so (laughs) grammatically incorrect there will be a meeting on April 27th 2019 12 o'clock in the afternoon on the subject of building a steel furnace at 27th and Gerard Ave on the vacant lot. What we need is a bulldozer to dig some ditches and steel furnace equipment. <laughs> Do a tent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's... That's... that's a, that was a thing. So now I put other things like things that people have been putting... <sighs> Oh, man. Well, that guy's a steel statue now. (laughs) He did. This fucking will work. Well, that was something that I now have in my life that I'm not sure I needed, but I guess... I guess it's okay. Uh, the other the other thing I want to mention lastly, Edquist, maybe you know the dates because I know you were talking in the uh, chat earlier about it, is we have our fifth anniversary stream coming up. When is that? Do you know? That is March 30th. Oh, so it's coming up from, fucking next month. Yep, from noon to midnight. All right. That's so much. Do attend. <laughs> Do do attend. Yeah, get, yeah, we can end it there. That's the. There we go. <laughs> did you see the pictures I put? In? I did. I did. Can we? I mean, I didn't even see these pictures. The Philly Furnace Party. I like that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, Ed Quist. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're gonna end the episode. Do attend. April uh, March thirtieth. Right. Yep. Yep. Uh, on Twitch. Uh, Devin, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter at DMP underscore Pookie and on Twitch at Pookie Killed Me and on eBay at Turtle Man 5000. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Avalos, do you want to promote wherever you people can find you on the internet? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can find them somewhere on the internet. God damn it. You gotta search. <laughs> Just well, now Sir, people know you live near Philly, so... Sir Javalos, that's all. Uh, Ed Quist, where can people find you on the internet? Um, you can find me in Philadelphia mixing my body with burning steel. He tried. Well, 
Uh, you can find me at Confessor underscore X on Twitter. Uh, and Twitch? You can find me at Confessor X on Twitch, but I barely ever stream anymore. <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. Uh, and as I always, need, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Jax Forestwalker, all one word, on Twitch at DM Webby, and on eBay looking for Devin. Trying to be the highest bidder. Uh, that's all. Thank you for listening, and see you next week. Fuck Booster Gold. What? You heard me. And I still don't know who this dude is. Yeah, you don't need to know. You need to know who Booster Gold is okay. about as much as you needed to know about that melting steel and combining it with your body <laughs> situation. I mean, all right. In fact, I argue to say you need to know about the Philly Furnace Fires more. <laughs> it's more relevant. Okay. <laughs>